Everyone, welcome back to another video here at Tawaiko. If this is your first video, welcome. And if this is your 10th, welcome back and thanks for the continued support. I'm gonna make the intro really quick today. We are going to actually do a really quick video today, but I wanted to bring you all along. We're gonna go get two more fish. So if you remember a couple of um, episodes back where we picked up the dragon puffer and we also picked up a bullhead cat, we were supposed to just get the puffer. He offered also a bullhead cat. It was uh, a rather, I say large, um, it was a small one. They get 18 inches long. I think it was like about five inches or so. Well, today, same guy reached out to a group and it was like, hey, I've got two more bullhead cats that I need to get rid of uh, and rehome. So we're gonna go pick them up today. So we're gonna go ahead and go jump in the car, bring the five gallon, go get the bullheads and uh, we'll be back. They'll be going in the 55 as well. Um, they'll only be staying in the 55 for a while. That is my next to-do list, is getting that 55 transferred into one of the stock tanks, as both of them are pretty much seated and cycled at this point because I was able to pull old media to help cycle it, and of course, the lovely tilapia that we have. But let's go ahead and jump in the car. Let's go get the fish. Okay, so we've got the fish. We are back, um, and I did I just got done feeding the Oscars and I drained the water on the five gallon. So don't worry, they have not been sitting in this low of water for any amount of time, then maybe like 30 seconds. Um, but if we check them out right here, and it's probably, there we go, it's gonna adjust. There they are, two bullhead cats. Um, in comparison to the one that we have now, I would say it's probably, this, like these two are far smaller. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be that way for long. Maybe just the one on the right is small. Maybe the one on the left is the same size. For comparison, this is the dude I'm talking about uh, that is chilling and having a good time. So I just fed the Oscars. I would say I overfed the Oscars. Um, water still has a little bit of a creamy tint to it. Uh, that's just because I feed cucumbers to the plecos that I have in this tank. Um, so yeah, it's just sitting at that. Um, like I said in the opening though, this is going to soon turn into one of the um, 110 that are 110 gallon aquariums that I have in the garage. So everything from here is going to go in there and then a community, um, a community tank, there we go, is going to happen in here. But uh, enough dilly dallying, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and try to see if, oh, one of them was nice enough to get right in for me. Um, this is the larger of the two. I would like, if at all possible, to get them both at the same time. Uh, please play nice with me. Did he get in? Oh, he got in, cool. So we've got both of them. So we're gonna go ahead and release one, release two, and you can back up, little dude. I don't think we're gonna necessarily have any issues with the Oscars just because um, the Oscars, they didn't even go after um, worms when I gave them. Um, like these two were kind of uh, scared of the worms that I gave them and did not really hunt the crawfish, but this is one of them. Definitely a little discolored, definitely a little bit stressed out. There's the other one, he just poked his head out real quick, but he has found some safety in one of the hides. And then the other one's there, but yeah, looking at the size now, um, Little bit of a size comparison. So here's my thumb. Same thumb, not same distance from the fish. So, I mean, they're comparable. I think they'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop some sinking pellets in there for them. And then um, the plecos will get a new cucumber in a day or so. But uh, yeah, they're gonna be fine. I'm not gonna do an update tomorrow morning just because I really wanted to make this a really quick, small, and easy video. Uh, just to keep you guys in the loop and kind of show you what's been going on. Uh, the Oscars, of course, we'll check them out. But yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be any issue just because I feel like the Oscars know, hey, this is food. Hey, this is not food kind of situation, even though they are predatory. But again, they are fed very well. So I don't foresee having any necessary issues. But uh, but we will see. I'll make sure to monitor them and if I see anything happening, but I think the bullheads are just gonna find um, kind of refuge in all of the hides and such. Uh, and one of the bullheads right now is swimming underneath one of the Oscars. So uh, I don't think it's very scared to say the least, but uh, we'll go ahead and drop some pellets in there, get them all fed up. That small one, 
He's gonna stay in the hides for a while, I'm assuming, but the medium one and the large one, I think they're good, and the medium one just found a hide as well. So I'm assuming what we're gonna see a lot is exactly what's happening here, which is that one in his hide, that one in that hide, and that one in that hide is what I'm assuming we're gonna see a lot of, but we'll see, who knows. Um, also, I keep throwing it around, well, he was there for a second, but the, uh, the Pleco that we got recently is right there and doing really, really well. So all three of the Plecos, all three of the Bullheads, and the two Oscars, they will all be moving into a different tank sooner rather than later. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing some holiday-esque things. Uh, it is currently November when I'm recording this. You guys probably are not gonna see it until midway through next year. So uh, not to timestamp it or anything, but yeah, these will be cool. But these are all going to eventually be in the, um, the aquaponics stock tank as well, so good stuff. But if you did enjoy, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Um, we do a lot of rehomes uh, here at Tawaiko, a lot of education, a lot of uh, just helping out the aquarium hobby any way we can. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this tank a little bit more with some sinking pellets uh, for the catfish, and then we'll take it from there. But until next time, hope you guys have a good one.